Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Ask Claude. A couple days ago, AWS went down and took millions of websites with it. One company, one failure, massive chaos. Today we're exploring a blockchain that claims this could never happen to apps built on it, Internet Computer Protocol, or ICP. Claude, let's dive in. What happened with that AWS outage? AWS had a major service disruption that cascaded across the infrastructure. Websites, apps, services, all down because they relied on centralized cloud service. It's a reminder that even in 2025, most of the internet runs on a handful of companies' infrastructure. So we talk about decentralized apps all the time in crypto, but are they actually decentralized? Not really. Most apps are only half decentralized. The smart contracts might run on Ethereum or Solana, but the, the front end, the website you actually interact with, is usually hosted on AWS, Google Cloud, or similar services. Your wallet connects to a decentralized backend through a centralized door. That seems like a major vulnerability. Exactly. If AWS goes down or decides to block your app or a government pressures them to censor it, your decentralized app becomes inaccessible. You've got decentralized money sitting behind a centralized gatekeeper. So what's the alternative? That's where Internet Computer comes in. ICP lets you host the entire application, your front-end, back-end data, everything directly on the blockchain. No cloud providers needed. When you visit a website on ICP, you're pulling it directly from the decentralized network. How is that even possible? Blockchains are slow and expensive for that kind of thing. ICP uses a unique architecture with something called canisters. Think of them as smart contracts on steroids. They can store data, serve web content, and process requests at web speed. The network runs on independent node operators globally, so there's no single point of failure like AWS data centers. What are the real advantages here beyond avoiding outages? Three big ones. First, true censorship resistance. No company can shut you down. Second, no recurring cloud bills. You pay once to deploy, not monthly hosting fees. Third, it actually achieves what Web3 promises, a fully decentralized internet, where users, not corporations, control the infrastructure. Okay, this sounds revolutionary. What's the catch? Several. First, it's a younger ecosystem, fewer developers, fewer tools, steeper learning curve than Ethereum. Second, adoption is limited. The utility is there, but if developers don't build on it, that potential stays theoretical. Third, there are centralization concerns. Definity Foundation still has significant influence, and running nodes has high requirements. So it's not battle-tested like Ethereum? Right. It hasn't faced billions in total value locked or millions of daily users yet, and is competing against other scaling solutions, rollups, modular chains that have more momentum. ICP solves a real problem, but the market hasn't fully validated it yet. Are there actual projects running on ICP right now? Yes, there are social media platforms, DeFi apps, and NFT marketplaces fully hosted on chain. Uh, Open Chat is a messaging app. District is a decentralized social network. They're not at mainstream scale, but they prove the concept works. How do they compare in user experience? Well, that's ICP strength. The speed is comparable to traditional web apps. Users don't feel like they're using a blockchain, which is exactly what mass adoption needs. So final verdict, is ICP the future or just ambitious vision? It's solving the last mile of decentralization that other blockchains ignore. Whether it succeeds depends on developer adoption and execution. But if the next AWS outage happens and ICP apps keep running, that's a powerful proof of concept worth watching closely. Thanks, Claude. Let us know in the comments, would you build on ICP? See you next time on Let's Ask Claude.